front office is the area of the bank where the work that you do helps generate revenue. Wrong. If the work that you're doing doesn't help the investment bank generate revenue, then why are you doing it in the first place? So when I was at an investment bank, I'd always see these terms written in team email addresses, written in presentations, as well as mentioned when project roles and responsibilities were being discussed. Only after some time did I realize the main differences between these three groups at an investment bank and I've never seen it correctly explained in any YouTube video either. Let me explain the real differences between these groups so you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. And for each topic, I'm going to make sure I cover the work-life balance, the salary expectations, as well as providing some examples of jobs that sit in each category. And I know I won't be able to cover every job out there in this video, but if there's any area you wanna know more about, then drop your comments down below and I'll look forward to answering them later. So a very important differentiation between these groups is that no one mentions how far they are from deal origination. In a back office role, the data from the deal that you're working on is all done and dusted and you're just adding the finishing touches such as trade confirmations or working on tech systems to make sure everything is processed as efficiently as possible. A lot of people talk about the differentiation between back office, middle office and front office as where you get to talk to clients, but it's not that simple. Back office do talk to clients, but the type of conversations you have are normally around further confirmations you need from the clients as opposed to discussions about creating a new deal. But without the back office doing their job, no deals will ever be fully completed. As a result, back office personnel do work with front office a lot of the time. And that's important to point out as many people's views are that they're in some basement somewhere where no one interacts with them. Back office will be involved with providing front office with information on how well the systems are, where the blockages in completing a deals are, as well as improving the process flow of data accuracy and completion. The roles in back office are generally called trade support or operations and you'll also have technology teams based here. Now, since the role is independent on clients, the work isn't going to stress you out a lot. You're not going to be judged on new deals, but rather how efficiently you do your job, minimize mistakes and improve current processes. And it's fair to say it does end up being a very routine based job. From a work-life balance perspective, you'll start at 9 a.m. and usually be out the door by 6 p.m or on rare occasions, seven. Back office jobs are a perfectly fine career path for a lot of people, especially for those who don't want to face some of the cons of front office roles, which I'll cover later in the next section. And salaries in the back office will always be above the local average. And here are the average starting salaries you can expect in your first couple of years working in a back office job. You will get bonuses, but they'll usually be capped at around 10% for junior staff, which again, is a pretty decent salary, especially when you compare it to what an accountant in the big four makes at the same stage of their career. But there are some important drawbacks to take note of here. The repetitive nature of the job can leave you bored and frustrated at the impact or lack of impact you're making in your job. Job security is always a concern as well. Because of the nature of the role, you often get jobs outsourced to lower cost locations with only senior staff staying on in the financial capital cities. With that being said though, because in the back office you tend to focus on one product, you become quite specialized in it and it's easy to tell when someone is actually passionate about learning and what they're doing rather than just pushing buttons. As a result, I've seen plenty of people move from back office into the next division, which is front office. Now, front office is the part of the investment bank where new deals are generated, and you'll see them mostly centered around the investment banking or sales and trading division. Here, you'll be talking to the clients to generate new deals for the bank or the clients themselves, and it involves buying and selling different products, raising money in capital markets, as well as advising other companies on mergers and acquisitions. So some of the jobs here are mergers and acquisition analysts, traders, sales, private wealth, and the skill set you learn here compared to back office are highly desirable by many employers. They're super transferable to a whole host of roles such as private equity. And because there's more objective metrics to prove how valuable you are to the investment bank, you'll be promoted a lot faster than back office staff. The salaries, as you can imagine, are the highest here. 
But what's surprising is the amount you can make just three years into your career. Only in a few other industries will you ever see this kind of salary. And because of this and the skill set you learn in front office jobs, front office roles are some of the most competitive jobs in the world. Now, there are some drawbacks as well. The work is stressful as there's either real time deals you need to react to or deals which you're advising on and requiring strict deadlines to be met. Traders generally leave the office just after the markets close, but they start their days around 7 a.m. Now, if you're working in M&A or investment banking, then you can expect to easily spend 13 to 20 hour days on a regular basis. Yeah, you heard that right. Some of the roles in front office require you to work consistently for 20 hours a day, which of course is going to leave you prone to burnout. And whilst there have been changes in recent times in the industry to avoid this, you still have to put in the hours. As a result, a lot of people do pivot to other industries after a few years because they have the prestigious name on the CV, they've developed valuable skills, and of course, made a lot of money. Sometimes front office staff do decide to stay on in the industry and move into other roles which offer decent pay, but a much better work-life balance. And a lot of these jobs I've seen that front office staff move to are in the middle office. Now, it's easy to say just middle office is the best of both worlds, but that's not really going to do it justice. The roles in middle office will require you to work on deals, but provide specific expertise on understanding certain areas. This could be legal, risk or verification of P&L. Consequently, some of the jobs that are counted as middle office are legal, market risk and product control. Salary wise, you will receive a relatively high salary, but bonuses won't tend to make a large proportion of it compared to say the front office. And whilst the salary will give you a comfortable life, you're not going to be able to retire early on your middle office salary, especially if you're living in a high cost location. And also unlike front office where more deals won means a higher bonus, more deals for middle office usually only means more work. That being said, the middle office is one of the least definable divisions as each investor bank treats their teams differently. As JP Morgan, the credit risk function is highly respected on par with the front office. And in Morgan Stanley, the market risk team usually sit right next to the traders and are hence seen in the same regard as them. Now, this video broke down different areas of an investment bank, but a lot of people are starting to consider different industries, which also pay very highly as well. Big tech companies are becoming more and more popular. And if you want to know what working at a big tech company is like versus an investment bank, I've already made a video on that, which I'll link right next to me. So go check that out and I'll see you all in the next video.